Hello. Hello. Well, today we are going to talk about the wooden frame we built around the windows and doors on our shipping container house. And we actually have two reasons for that. Yep. The first one is to help to hold the windows. And just in case the spray foam loses its strength. It's strength. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that in a short period of time, the spray foam would hold the window in place, but in a long term, it's going to lose strength and the window might get loose. So just to make sure it's another way of holding the window Just to place. guarantee. Yeah. And the second one is because we like the design of the arc tray we are creating around the windows. It's just like a small wood, wooden detail around the windows that uh, just looks nice. Yeah, so let's, let's get, get started. started. Here we go, let's start framing now the windows. The thing is, you guys saw we uh, putting the studs on place, but the studs are not fixed yet. You know, we still can slide them to place. And the reason for that is because now we're going to start measuring, I don't know if you, if you can see, but we're going to have a wooden frame around all the windows, like this. And we're going to measure the frame first, so then we can locate these studs on place. But first, oh. we need to cut all the tips of the wood. Yeah, we always forget. We always leave the tip and then it's not square. So we're just going to cut first this corner to make sure we have a square corner. And then you're going to measure from there. So let's go. Let's go. Now we can measure. So, Time for the truth. Let's see. So supposedly this is gonna be like here with another one here. Another one here. So I guess the size is good. Great. It's pretty good actually. Let's cut some more. We need yeah. to cut all of these ones. Before we start marking and cutting the wood, we need to take the sets of the spray foam, otherwise the wood won't fit there. Somehow I think it's bad what you're doing, but it's a necessary bad because I mean like the once you break the layer, the external layer of the spray foam, it's more sensitive I guess, but we need to fit the wood. There's no way we can do that without cutting, you know the excess and then we might later add some extra spray foam around when that's in place but we're not sure yet. So we are cooking like this and leaving a little bit of the spray foam there. So we are gonna save all the foam we are taking off to put inside of the walls. Just so you guys understand, we're taking a little bit of the excess of the foam off, but just in case the windows in the future lose it up a little bit, we are gonna have a bracket now, someone taught us today. Bracket up around the windows, we're gonna like uh, weld like two brackets on each side of the window to make sure we can screw the window on that and it's gonna be, you know, tight on place for the future. Because there's just not no way we can put the finishing we want with this foam on place. Okay. Yeah, let's keep working. <laughs> So basically, what we're doing, we're just cutting, you know, each part of the frame and we give names, so in the end it's like a puzzle and we know where we are. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Yeah. We just need to cut the last ones and then we can, you know, see how it's gonna look and then we can start welding the, 
brackets on place. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, before we start welding the brackets on place, we had one more test to be done, which was? Yeah, uh, in order to do the frame, the wooden frame, we need to have tracks on the bottom and on the top of the window. I mean, like, you know, to have a track like this on the bottom and on the top. Because right now, we only have tracks on the floor and on the roof, I mean the ceiling. So, in order to have these tracks on the windows, we need somehow to connect the stud to the track. So, you know, to fix these two parts together. So, in the future, we can have the wooden frame on place. And who helped us with the solution actually was someone from Instagram. Thanks a lot, Walt, for helping us. He sent us a picture, you know, a drawing of the window with the frame, the whole thing. And the whole explanation how to do this. Yeah, so he explained us how to do it and we did exactly as he said, I guess. Ho <laughs> hopefully it's the same, I think it is. So let's go back to the solution then. So let me show you guys what we're doing. We need to have this horizontal and this vertical stud together like this so we can have the wooden frame here right and the window is going to be here so basically i need to do the way to connect this and this i'm not sure if it's the best way but that's the one we found out we could do it we are going to do two small cuts on this side So basically, we do one cut here and one cut here. Now we need to make sure this little, I don't know how you call it, but this turn here, it's straight. So and now the last thing we need to do is to flip this. So usually people would do like this and screw this here, right? But we're gonna have a frame here and with this frame here it's gonna be harder to screw on there so we decide to flip this one side. down so now so basically now we have this like this and we can have the wooden frame here and we still can access the bottle and we can screw this on place. So basically we're doing that for every single window and door to make sure we have a stud, studs all around the window and we can fit our wooden frame. So let's do the other side now, we need to measure. The trick to cut this part is to cut both sides and then you flip and then you can cut. Now that we have all the pieces for the puzzle, we can try them on the Let's see if the whole thing fits. So, basically that's how it's gonna be. I mean, not like that, of course. <laughs> but you need to screw this on this and, you know, weld the plates and then screw the whole thing together and have another two studs here, two studs here. But basically that's gonna be the finishing of the windows. I like it. That's pretty cool. I think for today is good, right? Yeah. For today we're done. <laughs> we're gonna do it tomorrow. It's amazing how just, you know, a small progress can make such a huge difference on the way we see something that we dreamed so long ago and some ideas we had so long ago. And, you know, a small progress makes us see what we're playing and now it's coming true. It's so cool. Yeah, we are so excited that the house is not liking as a start place anymore. It's yeah. more like a proper house. Yeah, every week, every week the house looks less like a storage place and more like a proper home and that's really really cool yeah but actually before i forget we always forget something you know we just have so much stuff to talk about and sometimes we just forgot forget to talk about something two weeks ago on the first episode about the frame 
we I think we just didn't show enough of the screws we use and a lot of people have been asking how did we screw the tracks on place because yeah. right now we just have the tracks screwed in place we don't have the you know studs screwed in place so basically on the bottom we just screw the tracks straight on the plywood off the floor using these screws for the top was a little bit different. A lot of people think we screw on the, on, the on the ceiling. We would never screw anything on the ceiling and on the walls. We just don't want to make any hole on the shipping container itself. So instead of that, I don't know if you guys noticed, but every shipping container in the corner in between the wall and the ceiling, there is a tube, a square tube. That means that if I do a hole there, I, you know, crossing just the first part of the tube, I won't reach the outside. It's just the inside part of the tube. So basically, we screw these self-drilling screws on this tube on the corner between the roof, uh, the ceiling, and the wall. Usually they Usually. sell this in the same place as they sell the studs and prep. Yeah, so basically it's a self-drill screw, that's this one. And we screw sideways to the tube on the top of the wall. That's it. Uh, by the way, yeah. seems easy. The bottom was really easy, you know, <laughs> just screwing plywood is really, really yeah. easy, straightforward. The top we thought was going to be easy. Took us probably, I would say, like three hours, four hours yeah, to screw 12 screws. really thick. And he was drilling and then suddenly the screw just fell. All the yeah. time. Yeah, it's just, just really, really thick, the tube, and really, really hard to go through. Sometimes I even, you know, did a pre-hole, a smaller hole with the drill. And even, even that was hard and was just really hard, tough to go through, but somehow we managed to do half of the house already, you know, <laughs> the west side of the house. But we are getting it's there. Working, yeah. Eventually. It's there. Anything else for today? Ah, Patreon. Oh, Patreon. We want to thank a lot our new Patreon for this week. Actually, he was last week's Patreon, but when we found out that he was our new Patreon, we had already added the video, so... It's David Botman. Alvarado. Alvarado. Yeah. David <laughs> Bottom Alvarado, he lives in the Caribbean, that's pretty cool. He lives in an <laughs> island in the Caribbean, and that's really, really cool. Exciting. And we have we want to visit you, by the way, one day, <laughs> maybe, because, you know, it's just such a nice place. By boat. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have... Uh, News for Brazilians. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we are Brazilians, everyone knows that, I guess. <laughs> and we decide to do this channel entirely in English, and... The Patreon page it's entirely in English mostly. So I think it's fair for us to have a Patreon, a second Patreon for Brazilians. Yeah. But it's not really a Patreon. There is a website called Apoyasi in Brazil. That's basically the same thing as Patreon, but it's just for Brazilians. And we thought about doing some uh, exclusive exclusive yeah, exclusive content for Brazilian pay, uh Apoyas. Yeah. <laughs> so basically we're gonna have this website that we are gonna for people that subscribe to this website just like Patreon, we're gonna have some extra content and this time only in Portuguese. And that's not gonna be for you know for our YouTube channel, for the main channel. We won't add this content on the main channel. It's just some extras, you know, like making off and what we're thinking and you know, just the same thing as Patreon, just you know, for who wants to have a closer relationship to us, we might have a WhatsApp group, like, you know, some, so we can have Make a more a conference, com and yeah, WhatsApp group the whole thing, I mean, the plan is not 100% done, we just uh, created the web page yesterday, so if you want to check, that's the link, I mean, not the link, but that's the address, <laughs> the link is on the description below, and you can, you know, just take a look, we are gonna, of course, you know, ev how is it, like, evolve, evolve. yeah, evolve. I mean, it's just in construction yet, <laughs> but if you have any idea about that, any idea of perks you wanted, just let us know and I don't know, if possible we might change the page and get the perks you guys want. And let us know what you think about the idea, if you think it's a cool idea to have some extra content in Portuguese. And I guess... That's it. That's it for today. No, next week. What are you going to talk about next well, week? Of course. <laughs> so next week we are going to weld the... the yeah. Brushes. Yeah. We actually did well already. The thing <laughs> is, see, actually. <laughs> yeah, we have the brackets, but doesn't didn't make sense for us to show the brackets today because they are a part of screwing the whole puzzle together. And I think it's better to do that next week when we do the whole thing instead of just showing like the brackets. Yeah. So, so next, next week, week <laughs> we are gonna show the brackets how we 
welded into one place and how we paint and how we assemble the whole thing assemble. together. Yeah. Hopefully by next week you're gonna have half of the house framed. I mean framed with the wooden frame, with the studs in place, the extra studs we need to we still need to put some extra studs on the windows and doors and you know the whole thing yeah. together. Uh, I hope you guys understand that we are slow, that's just the way it is. We said that many, many times before and we still feel guilt sometimes that, you know, we you guys wait for a whole week and then when Monday comes, we don't have the entire project done. But that's just the way it is, just really, really tough. I mean, it's harder than we thought to have a YouTube channel. It's a lot of work and I, we're not complaining at all. We just, we have a lot of fun and we enjoy every single minute we produce the videos. But it's just really tough, you know, like, yeah, we, we wish we could be faster, but we just yeah, can't. Yeah, because, like, two days in the week, we need to edit the videos, so we, we are not working on the house, so that's yeah. why we are slow. Yesterday, we edited all day long. Yeah. And, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. So, I guess we see you guys next, next week. week. Forgot the notebook. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, feel free, there is a subscriber button. And we have a new episode every Monday at usually 9.30 Brazilian time in the morning. And, you know, come back next week to see the framing done. See you guys next week.